everyone and welcome to the new tutorial. Inside this video we'll take a look at how you can set up your own .NET project solution setup inside a CentOS 7 Linux environment. Of course the first thing you need for this is a Linux server and for that I would recommend Hetzner online. I have been using their VPSs for quite some time now and I'm very satisfied with what they got. So let's get over how you can buy one. We can add a server here. Let's go for the one in Nuremberg, CentOS 7. And for this I'll just take the smallest package as I'll decommission it soon later. Nothing else needed. .NET. Create and buy now. We wait for a few seconds and the server should be commissioned really really fast as you can see. Alright, uh, now we should get an email with the credentials that we use to log in. Of course this is the default root password that will have to be changed as it says here. By the time this video is uploaded the server will be decommissioned anyway so I don't really care about anyone seeing this. Let's open up that email. Okay. Root at this IP on port 22 should be good to go. Yes, I trust this and now we just have to copy over the password current password, new password, we're gonna go with this alright we are on the server everything looks to be fine, let's go a little yum update first to see if there's anything that can be upgraded Okay, there we go. Now, of course, we need to reboot the server as it's still in the old kernel. So, quick reboot will do. Will do the trick. As you can see, there's a putty error, but that's because well, the server died. So, okay, and we waited for a bit. If I press OK now, right-click the top of putty and restart session, and we should be back on the server. And there we go. Uh, our server is now ready, we can start installing all of the updates and I decided to put that apart in separate videos so each section can be covered on its own. So for this video this is about it, we set up the server, everything is good and in the next video we'll take a look at how we can install .NET and everything else. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.